Hi, sweetheart. We're going to read this book called Why Do You Cry? by Kate Kleiss, illustrated by Sarah Kleiss. See the little rabbit? He's busy in his room and there's his mama. When little rabbit was almost five summers old, he made a big decision. Now that I'm grown up, I'm done with crying, he told Mother Rabbit. Crying is for babies and I'm not a baby anymore. I know you're not, said Mother Rabbit, and she agreed to help Little Rabbit plan his first grown-up birthday party. I'm having a birthday party, Little Rabbit told his friend the squirrel. I'm inviting everyone who's big like me and doesn't cry anymore. Oh, said the squirrel sadly, then I guess I can't come. Why, said Little Rabbit, do you cry? Um, yes, said the squirrel. I cry when the others are playing a fun game and they don't ask me to play too. Let's cry. So Little Rabbit invited his friend, the cat. I'm having a birthday party, he said, and I'm inviting all my friends who don't cry. But I do cry, said the cat. You do? asked Little Rabbit. When? Why? When I'm alone and it's dark and the shadows on the wall look like big mean giants. He's crying. He cries when he's scared. Finally, Little Rabbit visited his oldest, dearest friend, the horse. I know you're too old to cry, Little Rabbit began. So please come to my birthday party. You're right that I'm old, said the horse, but you're wrong if you think I never cry. You cry? asked Little Rabbit. Why? I cry when I see a snake and when I get stung by a bee and when I try a new hairstyle and don't like the way I look. Little Rabbit returned home. My first big birthday party will be very small, Little Rabbit told his mother. Just you and me. Why, asked Mother Rabbit. Because everyone else still cries, explained Little Rabbit. And I don't want crying at my first big birthday party. Crying is for babies. Little Rabbit, said his mother gently. I can't come to your party either. Why, he asked. Because sometimes I cry, said Mother Rabbit. Little Rabbit was very surprised. Why do you cry, he asked. Because I have feelings too. Sometimes I cry when I watch a sad movie or when I have a bad toothache. And sometimes, Little Rabbit, I cry when I look at you. At me? He asked, why? Because you're getting so big, his mother said. You don't cry nearly as much as you used to. I look at you and feel so proud and happy. And that can make me cry. But you can't cry when you're happy, said Little Rabbit. Can you? Mm-hmm, Mother Rabbit said. You can cry for any reason or for no reason at all. Little Rabbit thought about this for a minute. Then he hopped onto Mother Rabbit's lap and whispered in her ear, even when I'm big, I'll still be your little rabbit. Good, she said, and even when you're big, you still might need to cry once in a while. Really? asked Little Rabbit. You won't mind if I cry? Of course not, said his mother. Will you mind if I come to your birthday party? No, said Little Rabbit. You must always come to my birthday parties. 
And so they threw a big birthday party for Little Rabbit and all his friends. And nobody cried. Well, almost nobody. See anybody cry? Little Rabbit felt very grown up. Being five was wonderful. You see his mom's crying. I think she's just proud that he's turning five. You can cry when you're proud or happy or sad. That's the end, why do you cry? See you next time.